Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston and here are some of my favorite men's outfits for one of my favorite style seasons, fall. So my first outfit combines a trucker jacket with a stylish white dress shirt, a pair of blue chinos and some casual slip on loafers. Okay, so let's start by talking a little bit about the real star of the show here, that gorgeous, handsome olive suede trucker jacket. So though trucker jackets are traditionally crafted from classic denim, suede versions have actually become increasingly popular over the last few years and have been spotted on a number of celebrities, including Tom Holland and Ryan Reynolds. Now, when it comes to men's jackets, I normally recommend going for neutral shades like navy or black, but fall really is that time of year to play around with more earthy colors such as green, olive, as seen here, and various shades of brown. And though the jacket is the focal point of this outfit, we really can't ignore the other pieces, such as the pristine open collared shirt, the cream colored loafers, and the stylish blue chinos, which have been cuffed at the bottom to show off that mankle. That's right, boys, the mankle that we ladies love so much doesn't necessarily have to be saved for summer. It can also look good with fall inspired looks. Just don't forget the no show socks. Now, if you wanted to dress this outfit down, then you can always swap out the button down shirt, chinos and loafers for a t-shirt, jeans and sneakers combo. But I just love the elevated casual feel of this particular look. And like all the outfits in this video, you can find links to the items shown along with some more budget friendly versions, of course, down in the description below. Up next, we're swapping out that suede trucker for a menswear item that's kind of like the Big Lebowski or Sean Puffy Combs of the jacket world in that it goes by many different names. The overshirt, aka the shirt jacket, aka the shacket, has become a staple fall menswear piece and every year I love seeing more and more guys rocking it when the leaves start to change color. And just like the fall is the halfway point between hot summers and cold winters, this baby is like the stylish halfway point between a lighter Oxford shirt and a heavier trucker or bomber jacket. So the best thing about an overshirt has to be its versatility. You can wear it both outdoors and indoors and you can easily swap out the layers underneath to fit the temperature. So for example, if it's warmer outside, then you can go for a crew neck tee as seen here. However, if it's a bit chillier, then just throw on a long sleeve tee or even a thin merino wool sweater. So the trick is to keep things simple and stay away from wearing a collared shirt underneath, as this will make it look like you couldn't choose between two shirts and just decided to wear both. So here we can see how well the lighter green undershirt works over the plain white tee and the dark wash jeans and white sneakers, keeping things clean and simple down below. So a variation of this look can also be seen here. And I just love the darker maroon color of this particular overshirt. Those cargo pants though, mm, not a fan. And I honestly believe that the word cargo should never go in front of anything you voluntarily choose to wear. And if you're looking to take your fall looks to the next level, then you might wanna consider adding a cologne from the sponsor of this video, Scentbird. So in case you aren't familiar, Scentbird is a one of a kind subscription service that provides 30 day supplies of different designer fragrances every month for just $17. Now, with over 600 brands to choose from, subscribers are invited to sample different fragrances and expand their knowledge before committing to a full bottle. Also, I absolutely love how travel friendly these little guys are. The two fragrances I chose from Scentbird are two of my personal favorites. So Eros Flame by Versace and the One for Men by Dolce & Gabbana. A modern reimagining of Versace's classic Eros Cologne Eros Flame combines Italian lemon and pink pepper for a vibrant and spicy fragrance that's just perfect for the fall. On the other hand, the one by Dolce & Gabbana blends grapefruit, basil, ginger, and tobacco to create a sweet and woody fragrance that women just adore. Scentbird is offering my US and Canadian viewers 55% off the first month of their subscription, meaning you'll get your first 30-day supply for only $8. To take advantage of this exclusive offer, make sure to hit the link down in the description box and use my unique discount code provided.
Thanks again to Semper for sponsoring this video and now back to our list of the top fall outfits women love. So unlike summer and winter styles, one of my favorite things about fall fashion is that you can experiment not only with different textures and fabrics, but also with both lighter and darker pieces. So this brings me to my next fall outfit, which consists of a walnut brown bomber, white crew neck tee, a pair of black jeans, and some leather Chelsea boots. And before you say anything, did you really think that I'd make an outfit guide without including at least one classic bomber jacket look? Now, as you can see, we have swapped out our traditional cotton bomber here for one that's a bit more lush and buttery soft. That's right, it's a reappearance from the jacket fabric du jour, suede. So suede bombers, though admittedly a bit pricier, have a handsome texture, and you can see how this one really elevates the other items it's paired with. Speaking of, I love how simple yet stylish the other pieces are in this outfit. Now, if you don't already own a few well-fitting white crew neck t-shirts, then this is very much a sign to do so, and you also may have noticed that we're going for a more relaxed fit of the jeans here, which is totally allowed for the fall months. Now, I've also said in the past that leather Chelsea boots should be reserved for dressier looks. These ones, though, really help to balance out the relaxed look of the jean. If they're not your thing, though, then you can always swap them out for a classic pair of white leather high tops, which would work perfectly for a look like this. And finally, I really couldn't discuss the topic of fall outfits and not mention the subject of layering. So layering clothes is something of an art form and can often prove confusing for most guys as there are a couple of important factors to consider to really pull it off. Luckily for you, I've chosen a look that easily outlines these fundamentals and demonstrates how exactly you can incorporate layers into your own outfits. Okay, so first of all, you always wanna start with the thinnest fabric as your base layer and work your way out so that the materials, aka fabrics, get progressively thicker. This may seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how often I see guys trying to rock thicker fabrics under thinner ones. Now, when it comes to colors, you wanna think of them like fabrics in that you should be starting with the brightest, lightest shades on the inside and then go darker with each layer. Now, as you can see here, we are using a classic white crew neck t-shirt as our base, which we are layering beneath a camel colored hoodie with a dark olive bomber jacket on top. Now, if you follow these rules and stick to neutral colors, then it won't be long until you become a layering master. And if you want some second opinions on your outfits, then I highly recommend joining my men's fashioner forum, which I've linked down in the description below. Speaking of down below, for the bottom half of this particular outfit, we have a classic fall pairing of some dark wash jeans and some brown leather high top shoes. So colored high tops such as these are a more casual and definitely affordable alternative to lace-up boots, and they've become one of my favorite footwear options for fall. Also, you gotta love the inclusion of the watch with the brown suede strap here. It's such a nice little detail. Now, come to think about it, this guy is so well-dressed, I'm sure he ended up marrying a nice girl who may or may not have her own YouTube channel. And there we have it. Thank you so much, guys. See you all in the next one. Bye.